532, and in just a few hours from now, there could be some big changes happening to the state's Medicaid program. Governor Doug Ducey is expected to ask the federal government to make some revisions that his office says could save the state big money. ABC 15's Nick Saletti, he's tracking those changes for us live from the state capitol. Nick, what does this mean uh, for you and me, for instance? All right, Danielle, good morning. Uh, so we want to let you know that these changes would impact able-bodied adults, so they would not impact people who are considered disabled, elderly, or would not impact children. Let's go ahead and break down exactly what those changes are going to be for everyone. First of all, we're hearing from the Ducey administration that it would mean that certain people would have to pay for certain services. They'd also have to invest 2% of their income into a health savings account. That account could be used for things like dental work and eyeglasses. There would also be certain wellness incentives that would have to be met. Ducey's office is expected to hold public meetings before that waiver request is formally submitted to the feds. He is expected to submit that by the end of September. If those changes go through, they would likely take effect in October of next year. Now, they're also expected to call for the federal government to allow them to uh, check eligibility twice a year instead of once a year. The goal for that is to try to cut down on fraud and also wasteful spending. Now ahead at 6 o'clock, we're going to break down just how many people could be impacted by these changes. Live here at the Capitol, Nick Saletti, ABC 15.